In the previous video, you looked at track assignments by using the patch panel. Autodesk Smoke has a variety of similar editing techniques that you may already be used to in your other editing applications. For example, you need to do a three-point edit. So you first select your source clip in the media library and this will load it into the source viewer. Using the navigation controls, you can scrub to the start frame and press the mark in button. Scrubbing further down the clip, you can press the mark out button to set your out point. In the sequence, first check the patch panel to make sure your tracks are correctly assigned. Then, move the positioner to a point where you would like the edit to take place. If you do not place an in or out point, the positioner will be used as the in point. Press the mark in button to set an in point in the sequence. You can now choose to overwrite or insert the edit into the sequence. Depending where you place your in and out points can determine forward timing as well as back timing your edits. In four point editing situations, the source clip has been marked up with one duration and the sequence has been marked up with a different duration. Smoke will perform a fit to fill operation using a time warp effect to fit the source clip to the marked up section of the sequence. To some, time warp is referred to as a speed change. To perform this four point edit, ensure your source clip has in and out points and ensure your sequence has in and out points. When you press the overwrite button, you will see the new segment fitting into the sequence. Notice that the timeline effects was added to the new segment and if you select it, the toolbar will inform you that a speed change has been applied to the segment in order to fit it into the sequence. In the next video, we'll have a closer look at moving clips around the sequence and the settings that affect the sequence.